World War II was a period of profound transformation, not only globally, but also on the idyllic islands of Hawaii. The arrival of thousands of U.S. Navy sailors brought significant change to the socio-cultural landscape of the region. Amidst the tides of change, Honolulu, the state capital, emerged as a crucial hub for Navy personnel. This collection of photographs, photographed and collected by one sailor during this time period, paints a vivid picture of the life and times of these sailors stationed in Hawaii during World War II, offering an insight into their routines, hangouts, and the enduring allure of Honolulu. The sailor's life was filled with stark contrasts, from rigorous duties and grueling training sessions to leisurely beach outings and vibrant city nights. Pearl Harbor, serving as the U.S. Pacific Fleet's home port, was bustling with activities. Warships, submarines, and aircraft carriers anchored in the harbor created an impressive spectacle, while the continuous hum of training and exercises reminded everyone that this was indeed a war front, even if it was an unusually picturesque one. However, when off-duty, the sailors sought solace and recreation within the embrace of Honolulu. Downtown Honolulu, with its impressive array of shops, cafes, and bars, was always teeming with sailors. Often dressed in their Cracker Jacks, the Navy's distinctive blue uniforms, they would meander through the streets, absorbing the aloha spirit and basking in the sun-kissed charm of the city. Hotel Street, a major artery in Honolulu's Chinatown, was particularly popular among sailors. This bustling thoroughfare was lined with a variety of businesses catering to Navy personnel, offering everything from trinkets to tattoos, food to booze. Nightlife thrived along Hotel Street, with numerous bars providing a refuge for those seeking a brief escape from their wartime responsibilities. The pulsating music, the camaraderie, and the free-flowing spirits provided a stark contrast to the disciplined, regimented life on the naval vessels. The USO, or the United Service Organizations, played a pivotal role in the lives of the servicemen. Its facilities offered everything from dances and shows to a quiet place to write letters home. Celebrities often visited the USO Club on McCulley Street, providing entertainment and a morale boost for the troops. On the other hand, the Waikiki Theater and the Royal Waikiki Hotel remained iconic sites. The theater offered a blend of Hollywood movies and local productions, allowing sailors a cinematic escape from their routines. The hotel, with its grand architecture and luxuriant ambiance, was an embodiment of Hawaiian hospitality, often serving as the backdrop to many a sailor's photographs. Life for the Navy sailors stationed in Hawaii during World War II was a potent mix of duty and diversion, camaraderie and solitude, war front routines, and tropical escapades. Despite the shadows of war, Honolulu emerged as a radiant city, a sanctuary for those in service, and a cultural melting pot where the aloha spirit embraced all. We hope you'll enjoy these photographs collected by just one sailor during this period and place. The photo album was marked, My Time in the Service, but the sailor's name is unknown. As you can see, he was clearly impressed with his surroundings and took the time to record it for the future. We're thankful to him for his service and for preserving his memories. Bye. 
Thank you. 
Come with me while the moon is on the sea. The night is young and so are we. Dreams come true in blue Hawaii. And mine could all come true this magic night of nights with you. Thank <laughs> you. 